so sweat testing is over. So when you're, what is your slowest long run pace? 9, 30, 10. Yeah, although in this I've been doing like 10, 10. This weekend it was 9, 11 ish. 8, 30 to 9, 11. And wish it was hot as balls, so I don't know how I did. Yeah. It. Clearly, I've been holding back. But you know, I am below average, so. <laughs> and rate. So you said three thirty, which is what pace is that? I can look Too it up. Three thirty is about an eight oh six pace. Between an eight and eight oh six pace. Okay, this is what the pacing is gonna be. So you're gonna warm up. We're gonna warm up ten minutes at a ten forty two pace. Cool. Yeah. Then we're gonna go four minute stages, ten ten, nine forty, nine thirteen, eight forty nine, eight twenty seven, eight oh six, seven forty seven. Walk in the park. And then we'll cool down. So you can put this on around your waist or um, chest. I'll also be asking you. I will. Be asking what your perceived your rate of perceived exertion is. Okay. Um, but you'll show me on your fingers when I ask you. Got it. Let's see. Do you have a small head or a big head? I want to say big, but I don't know. That might just be what people tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so when you start running, if anything feels uncomfortable, we can fix it during the warm up. I feel like my brain's gonna get tested. This is like another lie detector. They look cute. We do yeah, a shot. You're gonna look I even cuter so. in a few seconds. Then I go snorkeling. So this goes in your mouth, like you're snorkeling all the way in there. Yep. This is a collection tube okay. under here for saliva. You're, it's gonna start because of the way it forces you to breathe in and out of your mouth when your nose is clipped. You're gonna collect saliva in your mouth. Delicious. So you can do two things. You can either bite down on those like teeth marks in there and oh. swallow, okay. or you can just tilt, tip forward a little bit and it'll collect in here. This feels can feel a little pinchy, so you can also adjust that too. All right. Oh my gosh. All right, so 10 minutes here. Try not to move too much. Very calm. So she's breathing into the tube and the machine is measuring how much oxygen she's taking in on an inhale and how much carbon dioxide is, is she's giving off. And it's the machine's displaying what that is. And so based on the combination of those two in her breath, it determines, um, it indicates what, what she's burning as far as fuel sources. So how much, people are always burning some combination of carbs and fat, okay. but it's what what's the contribution from each of those. So in real time, I'm seeing that for her. You know, when people get the information on how many calories does their body use just to like stay alive? Which is the point of staying like as calm and as relaxed as possible. So it's like you have a baseline of how many calories your body needs just to function, right? For cool. all the processes that are happening. And then you add on, you know, yeah. all of the physical activity expenditure. So that's, and then, and you see what contribution of like when you're at rest, what contribution is coming from fat or carbs, right? So if you're a higher, carb burner, there are things then that you can do to, in your daily diet, to help become a better fat burner. So we're going to get information that will, um, that will tell her things she needs to change in her daily diet. Also tell her, um, if there are more, it, it'll show her what her true, like aerobic zone is, right? Uh -huh. So there are lots of formulas and stuff that allow you to calculate it, but this really shows you what your true aerobic zone is, cool. right? Um, and then it'll show us, okay, for her race, if her race is gonna be at a certain pace for a certain amount of time, how many calories does she really need for that effort? A lot. Yeah, so it can dictate you know, some, some specific training zones to even higher than her zone two. Yeah, that can just help increase her aerobic capacity, her wow. aerobic ability. Yeah, we get a lot of good info from this. Yeah, so it's not just for the pros. It's for anyone who wants to be their best. Okay, you can stand up. Get on the treadmill. So we're gonna be at a 1% incline. All right, so now we're gonna start at five, six, 
Okay. Be here for 10 minutes. What's your perceived exertion? Three and a half? Three. Okay, we're gonna go up. 940 pace. Unclip your nose. Take that out. Let me just pull these off. Gross. Yeah. Is it as much fun as you thought it would be? Oh, yeah. That's crazy, tool, right? Tool belt to get through those four minute segments. <laughs> Glad to be done. What was it like being hooked up to that machine? A lot of saliva. It was so wacky. It's, it's such a weird sensation to run with that thing on your face. Oof. I feel good. That was a nice little check-in. 11, so I'll be, I'll be here and then, yeah. I'm excited. Yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good to help you kind of like fast and things. Totally. Oh, man, oh, man. Oh, I'm gonna get my food. I'm gonna take off the- What are you gonna eat? I have a banana, an apple, and a bar. That's what I brought. <laughs> 